suspended between heaven and earth right. and on either side there were some thieves, some criminals, some unjust individuals right. uh, hanging with the just right. and, and there they discovered, they discovered that what they would do would be crucify him uh -huh. and as they were trying to crucify him or in the process of crucifying him, he praised that prayer, Father, they don't know they're part of the plan well, they don't understand that this has all been a setup and so the people even stood by watching it, and they, the rulers, and all of them seen, and they said something that's strange when you get to Luke chapter number 30, chapter 23, 35. They said he saved others, oh, but himself, he cannot say, well, I, I really want to tell you the truth. He saved others, and if he wanted to, the same thing that he created that was holding him, he could also recreate it to let him go. He saved others, but himself. He would not say it. And, and then the text even goes on to say that it was written that they put a sign over his head and, and said, here lies the king of the Jews. Even in so much, the criminals started getting in their teeth. I don't understand how a sinner can say to a savior, you are guilty. I don't understand how one on the left can talk bad about the one in the middle. But that's just human nature. Isn't it amazing how soon you forget how messed up you were, how tore up you were, and you didn't look at other folks' problems. But thank God, that was a conversation that took place between a sinner and a saint. That, that sinner said, Master, when you get to your kingdom, remember me. And Jesus, at that moment, in that conversation, this individual recognized what everybody else couldn't see. He recognized that if anybody could help me, the Lord could help me. I don't care if he's been high and lifted up. I don't care if he's been on the cross. I know one thing. Even though he has his nails in his hand, he will never let me down. He, he said to him, listen, when you get into the kingdom, remember Remember me and, and know that the Lord at this moment shows him some mercy. I don't know about you, brothers, but when I look over my life, I stand in the need of mercy. And so in this conversation, there was some recognition. He recognizes he needed a savior. It's a to me that this repentant sinner recognizes that he needed a savior. In, in our own life. Do you realize that one thing we need? We need a savior. And, and he discovered that as he recognized it, he needed a savior. He, in his conversation, then Jesus gave him some affirmation. He, he didn't say tomorrow. He didn't say in three days. He didn't say after you get baptized, after you get yourself together. Jesus gave him some affirmation. He said this day, the day you hear my thoughts, this day, this is the day of repentance. This day, this is the day of salvation. And it's amazing that during this time of salvation, he asked Jesus not, watch this, he asked Jesus literally, he said, I want to bring you, listen God, I want you to bring me up. Because everybody else has put me down. He, he says, listen, I need you to lift me. But he said, master, when you get to the kingdom. And Jesus says, let me tell you something. You don't have to be go through no long rituals. You don't have to go through no class. All you got to do is remember. If you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. This day, 
Salvation will come to your house. And, and I don't know about you, but I had my this day moment. That day I came to Jesus. Just as I was. That day I came to Jesus. Recognizing I was a sinner. Having a conversation with the Savior. And I found out what can wash away my sins. Nothing but the blood. 